What's going on people? Ben here back again with another video. Today I'm super excited to do another unboxing. Yes, another unboxing. You know, we have all been bitten by this hobby, but nothing hits like a fresh unboxing, diving into the packaging and getting that new train smell. Not even gonna delay, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Hopefully this is right side up. This is a huge box. I'm probably not even in the camera right now. So let me just speed this up. Get through this. Oh man. Oh my goodness. All right, so I like to do, you know, my unboxings totally unscripted. So you have to ex excuse some of the things most people would normally cut out. And you'll have to excuse my friend Titan back there. He's having his dinner. <laughs> All right. Lots of packaging, which is always a good thing. All right. Let's get into this. More unboxing. These unboxings always feel like Christmas Day in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. I'm trying to be as careful as possible, but my excitement sometimes gets in the way of that. All right. Let's get the plastic off here. We got that orange box goodness. Oh man, this smells good. Okay. And make sure I got it right side. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. You know, it's, you know, the hardest part is not even waiting a year for these engines to come after you pre-order them. It's trying to unbox them without breaking anything. All right. Usual manuals, manuals and stuff. Don't need that. Let's get into this. Oh my gosh, it, the newness, it's the newness for me. Let me try and be very careful here. I'll try and be as careful as possible. <laughs> I'm super excited. Oh, this is just awesome. Okay, I'll start with the locomotive first. We'll go with the locomotive. This is just, this is beautiful. This, this is stunning. So as I'm sure you've guessed it, what we have here are the new Lionel Greenbriars, right? They were announced in the volume two 2022 catalog. And these are probably gonna be a really hot item. This is just stunning. Now the green briars were a series of 484 locomotives used by the Chesapeake in Ohio. And I believe they were named after the Greenbrier Hotel or a major resort named that off of the CNO main line back in the day. And they were used for essentially fast freight. So this is just incredible. 
the weight, the details on here, absolutely beautiful. Now let's get to that tender. As you can see, if you know me, <laughs> you already, you guys already know, had to go with the Chessie system railroads. Um, I just love the Chessie system. Can't get enough of them, obviously. But this is just, this is just amazing detail. Wow, wow, wow. And obviously I'll get you guys some close up shots of this so you can see it. But let me just take this in. I'm taking it in for the first time with you guys right here. This is just, this is incredible. This is incredible. So I'm just admiring a lot of the detail that went into here. Of course, it has the whistle steam and Bluetooth features. Wow, wow, wow. Of course, a portion of the top pops off where you have your legacy controls, programming and stuff like that. But this is a beautiful locomotive. Let me know what you guys think. I love the detail on this. I'll get some close-up shots and all that stuff. But I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of this um, and get it on my layout. This just looks awesome. Wow, wow, wow. I definitely think Lionel's doing a good job, a superb job, especially with their steam locomotives. They're just cranking them out. And this was a great engine uh, to add to anybody's roster. You know, several different models were made available. Of course, you had that orange what if scheme one. I was thinking about getting that orange one, but the downside to that is if you get that one, you have to get the passenger cars with it. And even though you can run things non-prototypically if you want, share a railroad, do what you want, it would almost look odd if that orange one was pulling anything else. This one gives me a little bit of flexibility if I want to run some, you know, box cars behind it, or if I want to get the C and O passenger cars, I can. So this one just offered me just a little bit more flexibility. So I decided to go with this one in all black. All right. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get this on the tracks.
that was a brief overview of the new Lionel Greenbrier. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. I am definitely pleased with the level of detail, the sounds coming from it, and just the overall looks. Plus, as you know, I'm a huge fan of anything Chessy system, so this was an absolute must for me. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the Train Collector's Train Collector. I'll catch you guys in the next one.